Hey there guys and welcome back to Snake Snap. And are you guys ready for the first episode of this new series, Snake of the Week? If you guys are, stay tuned because I'm going to be telling you guys all about the apex predator in the snake world of the East Coast. So, let's roll that. yourself well this apex predator it's gotta be venomous well you're already wrong this is actually a harmless species of snake but it is still the king of snakes of the east this is the eastern king snake so let's start off by showing you guys what an eastern king snake looks like so if you can see the other side of me this is actually one of the pictures that you guys sent in this is a chain eastern king snake now all of the pictures i will be showing you are of king snake but they do have different localities because we have a chain one like you see here then we have a florida king snake which is the same species over here and then finally we have the brooks king snake which is just another locality now these while they look incredibly different are actually all the same snake species they used to be different subspecies but now they're all just known as the eastern king snake so now, let me tell you guys a little bit about these king snakes. They, as I said, are a harmless species of snake. They are actually constrictor snakes. So that means that they kill their prey by wrapping their bodies around it and suffocating it, which sounds a little harsh. But these guys are great to have around because they actually really like eating venomous snakes. Because did you know that king snakes are actually immune to rattlesnake, copperhead, and cottonmouth venom, which makes them perfect predators for these venomous snakes. And now you may be asking yourself, well, why would you eat a venomous snake? Even though, yeah, you're immune, it still might be a little bit dangerous. Well, venomous snakes are often a lot fatter and a lot shorter. So a king snake can eat one venomous snake, which will give it a lot more energy because it's a lot fatter than a normal snake, such as a garter snake, which is very thin, skinny, and long. But instead, it could eat a rattlesnake, which is a lot thicker body and it has a lot more food in it and more energy for the king snake. So now eastern king snakes, they get pretty large. They get between 36 and 48 inches as full-grown adults. That is for all localities. And they... As for what states eastern king snakes are found in, they're found from the bottom of New Jersey all the way down to into Florida. And they don't go that far west. They stay more on the eastern coast, as you can see in this map here are found in a wide variety of habitats from hardwoods, softwoods, pines, um, sometimes in borders of swamps or creeks. They are also found quite commonly in suburban areas. So if you're cleaning around your yard, maybe moving around pieces of tin or wood, you might find a king snake underneath there. But there's no need to fear. While these snakes are dangerous for venomous snakes, they are completely harmless for people. They contain no venom themselves, and they, as I said, are really helpful because they do eat venomous snakes. So now, while king snakes are strongly terrestrial, they can swim, and they are often found in association with bodies of water because their prey, such as cottonmouths, might live in that area. But you will not often find a king snake swimming around. They will normally be on land. And king snakes are active mostly during the morning or the night, but not at night. So they're more active dusk and dawn. They are a diurnal species, which means that they're active during the day. But during the really hot parts of the day, like around noon, you're probably not going to see them active. They'll probably be seeking cover under those boards or tin that you have lying around. Now let's talk about their diet. So as I've said, they do mainly eat other snakes, including venomous snakes, but they have also been known to eat other animals such as lizards, small mammals, to medium-sized mammals, like maybe a rabbit if they can catch it. Though, as I said, they really prefer to eat snakes. Now, let's talk about what to do when you encounter a kin snake. So, like I've mentioned many times before, this snake is completely harmless to people. And they are really helpful in eating venomous snakes. So, if you have one around, you're really not that likely to have any other snake species around or any venomous snake species because kin snakes will be eating them. But, what do kin snakes do when they encounter people? Oftentimes, they may act defensive and try to bite, or they will rattle their tail in leaf litter. 
Now, they don't have rattles, unlike a rattlesnake, but instead, when they do rattle their tail in the leaf litter, it may make a sound similar to a rattlesnake. Now, there is no need to worry. They are not rattlesnakes. If you see no rattle on the end of the tail, it is not a rattlesnake, though they will be mimicking rattlesnakes to hopefully scare people off or alert other animals of their presence so as they are scared off. So I do hope that you guys liked this video, and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you liked learning all about the Eastern kin snake and you want to learn about other snake species, please do hit that subscribe button. Or if you want to learn about all our other series that we have on this channel, do hit that subscribe button and watch the first video, the intro video to Snake Snap. So hope you guys have a fun day, go out herping if you want, and catch my next video coming out on Wednesday. So see you guys next time. Cheers!